those rightly shocked by the coverage of Sushant Singh Rajput's suicide are contrasting that with that coverage, with the coverage of the suicides of some 330,000 farmers since 1995, they are right in being shocked, but they shouldn't be surprised. It's about the money. Your big media, corporate media, may be cheating you or betraying your needs, but they are being completely true to their design and purpose. It's what they exist for. Talk TV is a lucrative revenue model. I repeat, talk TV is a lucrative revenue model. Now, if you want to cover the farm crisis, that requires a lot of field investigation. It requires many days, weeks, months of work continuously. It requires spending on travel, on many interviews, studying credit systems, input costs, environmental degradation, and very importantly, the economic policies of the government. Talk TV requires a low cost, high decibel speculative cacophony. Serious reporting costs money. Talk TV makes money. It just requires a low cost, high decibel speculative cacophony of people who are paid a minimal, who are paid a few thousand rupees to come and yell at each other in a studio. It requires no outdoor work, no investigation, no reporting, no ethics, nothing. While the coverage of the Sushant Singh Rajput suicide is repulsive, it is neither the first time, nor is it an aberration. It is the reporting model. It is the journalism model. Huge crisis affecting ordinary people were also ignored in favor of such episodes, even much earlier. What about the Sheena Bora case? Yeah. In 2006, there were 500 journalists covering the LACME India Fashion Week, all seven days, and 125 more journalists covering the Fashion Week on daily passes, more than 600 in all. There were six journalists I counted from outside Vidarbha spending a full week there at the height of the farm suicides in India. So this is not a, an aberration. It's not, it's not a mistake. It's not a failure. It is in fact from the media's model point of view, a resounding success. It's just that it is disgusting, repulsive, and, you know, dehumanizing.